Yes. Well done, Watson. Holmes, you're playing bowls? Indoors? Not just any old bowls, Watson. Lawn bowling. Seriously? With your injury? No. Mrs. Hudson is going to murder you. Hmm. Well, that's it for now. Time to go. Would you care to join me? You're incorrigible. And where are we going, Holmes? I'm participating in the final stage of the annual tournament held by the London Archaeological Institute's Bowling Club. It's an official invitation. I'll just need to dress suitably and then we can leave. Mr. Holmes, you played very well yesterday. I'm obliged to you, Sir Charles. I play many outdoor sports. That's the key to my success. My friend Dr. Watson has decided to join me. Really? Mr. Holmes, would you like to see the first prize? A rare stone Mayan Kiche calendar. Mayan Kiche? Indeed. Their legendary king, Tekun Uman, has his statue just behind you. Although this one is a cast metal copy. Oh. Well, since only members may enter the clubhouse, we have exhibited the calendar outside. Please explore. The statue of Takun Umar. I'd like to win the Mayan calendar. It's a beautiful work of art. Only club members have access. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad you are my opponent for the final. People call me Arthur the Invincible. <laughs> so I wish you good luck. This will keep Watson happy. I lost to the quarterfinals, but the green was worth it. Arthur is in the final with you know who? Mr. Sherlock Holmes. What a spectacular season. The first prize, the Mayan Kiche calendar. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Are you ready to begin the final game? Yes. Let's start the final.
Congratulations on your game, Mr. Holmes. Exceptional. The awards ceremony will be tomorrow morning. See you then to receive your prize of the calendar. I trust you will be there as well, Dr. Watson? Unfortunately, I'll be unable to attend tomorrow. Duty calls. Ah, what a pity. Let's go home. See you tomorrow, Mr. Holmes. Hello, Mr. Bouvier. Hello, Mr. Holmes. Well, Caitlin? <laughs> Your costume! <laughs> oh, don't you like it? Oh, I do! <laughs> Caitlin, come on. Show some respect for your father. You know, Father, Miss Alice was telling me all about her travels. She has already toured the world with her own father. Your daughter is exquisite. And just to think that she was aboard the Orient Express when it was attacked. <gasps> what a dream. Indeed. She's so creative and imaginative. And that reminds me, would you allow Caitlin to visit me so that she can practice playing the piano? very kind of you, but I decided that Caitlin should stop playing the piano. Oh, Father! Why did you say that? Caitlin, we are neighbours. We'll meet again. Thank you, Miss Alice. Zacharias. Calm yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. What can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Sure. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade. Are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Really? And to think I only came here for my prize. I know, Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then bam, a murder? There's a surprise. Oh, you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. Did you search the clubhouse? What for? The murder took place outside. Traces of metal on stone.
traces of metal on stone. The surface is damaged. The iron mounting rod is broken. It looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal. Pieces from the pedestal. A piece of the statue's mounting rod. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. The case is scratched and dented. Tissot watch, Swiss, 1855. This watch is valuable and old. It's been through a great deal. Zacharias's folder. These drawings represent the Mayan symbols. Money was left inside the wallet. Dry leaves. They make a noise. Zacharias probably walked across them. All valuables were left on the victim. The strike was powerful and well aimed. Scratches on the stone. A broken branch. Somebody jumped into the tree and then over the wall. If I believe Lestrade, this Mayan calendar was the reason behind the murder. Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Sir Charles, are you able to tell me in detail what happened? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud, metallic sound and a terrible shout. I hurried outside and... and... Well, I found the body of Zacharias. And I swear it, I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. You saw the statue running. It, it was dark, but yes, I'm sure of it. It was running, and it was making the most horrible metal sound as it did so. And can't you see? The pedestal is now empty. Did you know the victim? Yes, of course. 
It was Zacharias Greystoke. He is... was a club member and an excellent bowler. But why was he here so early in the morning? Oh, I don't know. Sir Charles, where did the Mayan calendar come from? It was donated anonymously. We received it shortly before the tournament, with a letter asking that it be awarded to the winner. Is the calendar valuable? Uh, not really. It has historical value, of course. But to be truthful with you, Mr. Holmes, it isn't worth very much. May I go in the clubhouse? It's members only. I cannot authorize anyone unless that person has a written warrant from the police. And what about the statue? Well, no idea yet. I imagine a thief must have taken it somehow. Hmm. Right. So they were thieves, and they were very well equipped? Yes, must have been. But then there's also Sir Charles's version, but... Uh... Please, go on. He said this morning that he was alone at his desk when he heard a shout. He went outside and saw Greystoke lying on the ground, and... Believe it or not, he said that there was no one else on the green that night but the statue itself running away. <laughs> you mean that the statue might have killed the victim? Interesting. Absurd, more like. Besides, it was dark and foggy. So, somewhat like your version, then. It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar and killed by the spear from Takunuman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped say? over the wall. Do you know anything? Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Well, Holmes, your conclusions as my consultant? My conclusions are approximate to Sir Charles's testimony. <laughs> oh, dear, you think the statue did it? Everything points to the fact that the spear was thrown from the pedestal and Mr. Greystoke appeared not to notice the killer. <laughs> Indeed. The journalists will be ecstatic about your version. <laughs> I would like to examine the victim and take a look at his belongings. Oh, you've amused me at least, Mr. Holmes. Very well. I'll grant you authorization for the examination at Scotland Yard, but nothing more. Here it is. Coming so quickly, Watson. Lestrade already has the victim's body in the autopsy room. I'm always ready to help any time, Holmes. At your service, Mr. Holmes. 
The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll need to redraw them. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Tissot watch, Swiss, 1855. An ordinary pencil. Money was left inside the wallet. Oh, Zacharias had already translated some symbols. I could use this dictionary to translate the calendar's glyphs. They are the symbols that were drawn on the Mayan calendar. The papers from Zacharias's folder. They can help us to translate the Mayan message. Cursed will be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple. They will meet their death by the risen statue. Only the chosen will have mercy. It's not only a calendar, it's a curse. Zacharias Greystoke, a member of the club, was killed as the curse decreed. Looks like a serious infection. It was a powerful throw. The spear pierced right through the body. The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage.
traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently, Zacharias had been drinking before his death. This is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. The weapon must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. It's possible that the link between Zacharias and the curse is at the archaeological club. I'll need a search warrant. These scars are old. Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favour to ask of you, a search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no and no. Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what you think. Nothing dishonorable happened. Go on then, take your warrant. So, he refused to give you the search warrant? Oh, no, I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue spear. Why won't the police say anything? It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. Zacharias Greystoke. I wonder who this man is. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. The 50th birthday of Lord Stevenson. 
Charles Yellingham has a large family. Interesting. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. A message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke, the victim. late Mr. Bromsby's collection. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. The late Mr. Smith's collection. The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. The late Mr. Robert's collection. These antiques look quite valuable. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. This metal globe is very impressive. Some bits are missing. Some bits are missing. Some bits are missing. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh, all the items are from our club members. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Ah, uh, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death.
It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. I need a pipette. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. Aha, uh -huh. there's another person in the photograph. Is there anything I can do to help? Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America? Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Orbiet. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple, and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, He's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Poor Sir Charles. A crime at his club, it's a Mr. Bernard Marley, thing. I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Street.
Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, oh, he's in his office. To the door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. Fresh scratches. A drawing of Takunuman. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. There were two large boxes. Something large and heavy was dragged here. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Sorry, I'm too busy for chat. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke, the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kijé gods. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles's stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit's disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief. Don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and to try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. That would be an understatement. 
He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. What's your opinion on Taku Muman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Takun Uman. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Takun Uman? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Takun Uman. Well, goodbye then. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Takunuma. Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. <laughs> Caitlin's up, Miss Alice. Playing the piano, she disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. I can't help myself. I must open this letter. Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. I need something to apply the glue. That's it. Playing, Kate. I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes! Why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. 
such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice! Come back in! I can do it! See? <laughs> You're wonderful! I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secret, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Ah, Holmes, I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. Holmes, we have to go to the hospital. Bert, and you'll need to be quiet. This door is securely locked. I must find another way in. Move it in this direction.
I need a clear path. I'm here. Can you let me in? Obviously for a dagger. My end period, I think.
A slot. It appears to be part of some mechanism. I'll need a dagger to work the mechanism. A Mayan pyramid. This blank has too many defects. I'll need to start again. This dagger fits. Another statue of Takun Umar. So, Bernard Marley built a mechanical globe. This globe has space inside. It should be possible to open it. It can move, but a part of the mechanism is missing. Be careful, Watson, unless you want to be speared by Takun Umar. Marley dismantled these alarm clocks for their parts. It's closed. It's closed. Hmm, locked.
It seems you found the key to the safe. This part is in solid gold. It's worth a fortune. The statue is in three parts. Only the gold is original. Marley must have reconstructed the other two. A piece of a map in metal. This object evidently connects to something else. It's almost daylight. The workers will be here soon. It's time to leave. man might be here. Oh, Dr. Watson, may I help you? Hello, Baird. My colleague and I are here to see Mr. Byron. Ah, Byron. Yes, he's in a bad way. You'll find him in a cubicle on the window side. Patients visit this department for treatment and then return home. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please, I've just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. We would like to ask you some questions about an expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition? What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Tecuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down. I'm sorry, my dear colleagues, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here.
What should we do next, Holmes? Weren't you paying attention? We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. This address is almost invisible. He recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Our man passed by a circus. Oh, you're still here. Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Holmes, it seems that Albeit has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly. I know how to find him. Thanks to the information I obtained at the hospital, I can now deduce where Albeit is hiding. We know that Albeit paid a visit to an opium den, a crowded market, and a circus. He also purchased some Chinese tobacco. Let's find a place in London where all four elements are close together. Now we need to find a street name ending in O-O-K. Here it is. 21D Brook Street. Watson, I believe we found Albeit's flat. Do you hear that? Quick, we have to open this door. The door's too strong and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. Please help! Help! If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the town's view. This table could serve as cover. Watson, I'll try to reach those curtains to close them. Cover me. Oh, 
Cover me. Watson, come here. He's behind the screen. <laughs> A statue was once here. Now it's missing. The iron mounting rod is broken. The surface is damaged. No! Don't kill me! Calm down. It's over now. It's gone. You? Oh. But why are you here? You're not doctors, are you? No. Well, you're half right. Shall we remove these masks? Your true name is Albeit, is it not? You were a member at Charles Yellingham's club. Yes, I was. Can you tell us what happened here? After your visit at the hospital, I quickly returned home. I was lying there on the sofa and, and felt an evil presence in the room. An evil presence? Never mind. It's probably the fever. Or perhaps a living statue? Yes. It was one of the double statues. I saw its shadow. I believed that it was searching for me, that it wanted to kill me. It was horrible. As in Zacharias's murder, the statue came to life when its intended victim appeared in front of it. I must examine your residence. It may hold some clues. Tell us about your expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. It was in my former life. What really happened there? You were said to have died. I was ill with a terrible fever. I asked them to leave me there. I can't remember how. I only have flashes of memory. But by some miracle, I survived. I left an eye and one arm behind. It took me time. But at last, I managed to return to London. Why do you use a false name? That expedition signaled the end of my career my very life as I'd known it. I changed my name and my address. Now I'm weak and useless and alone. I'm a walking dead man. Not for long. <laughs> Perhaps this was it. It was my curse to fade away little by little. Tekunu man's revenge. You are aware of Zacharias's murder, are you not? Yes. And quite aptly, I read that he was killed with a spear. Aptly? Well, he practiced archaeology almost as though it were a sport, seeking adrenaline. Imagine his state of adrenaline when he died, him being the prey. And who would have been the hunter? Tekanu man? Whoever, whatever. It'll soon be over for me at any rate. Well, thank you again for saving me.
Albeit's wife and son, I presume. This model forms a part of another, larger model. The interior seems well designed, but I cannot see it properly. The interior seems well designed, but I cannot see it properly. 1894. This model was created after the expedition to Guatemala. This bed is very small. There's a little bed in a small room. It's been used. Well, it is for my son, Gulliver. After my official death, my wife and he left for Glasgow. On my return, I installed this room. So they know about you? My boy Gulliver visits occasionally. But I wonder, what is the life of a crippled father? <laughs> that will lose me again. Mr. Albeit, what is this? How? Oh, it's impossible. How did you find it? Answer me. 17 years ago, I built a model of Tekken Man's temple. We stored it inside the club's globe before leaving for the expedition. I've no idea if it's still there. While in Guatemala, I had dreams about a missing part. A pyramid. Then, when we entered the temple, I experienced vivid visions. Wait a minute. You entered the temple? Well, yes, we did. And we found the pyramid from my visions. And I was too weak. I was unable to solve the mystery of its entrance. I failed there. I always wanted to understand why. So upon my return... You rebuilt this final part according to your visions and... Nothing. But I'm dying, and at least my son will see that I did my best to complete my life's work. Thank you again for saving me. I need to finish here first. Our assailant escaped using this rope. Our attacker escaped through this skylight. It appears that the missing statue may have escaped via the window in the roof. Now the model is correct and complete, and with a little brain work, I can imagine what took place.
treasure of Takunuma. No keyhole or handle. There must be a way. The calendar. It was here. So Zacharias, Sir Charles, and Marley have all known about this from the beginning. This is the statuette that Bernard Marley, Sir Charles, and Zacharias all shared. Mr. Albeard. Oh, you're here with your son. Yes, obviously. We have to talk with you, and it involves the police. I see. Gulliver, go across the road to Mrs. James. This is an adult conversation. Hold on just one second, please. Uh, uh 
pygmy? As I suspected. Albeit brought him back from Brazil. You were both slaves there and you escaped together, am I correct? You are. We are companions through life to death. He's more like a brother to me. It's clear enough now. You and your accomplice are guilty to the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. They had to pay for what they did. If only I'd had the time to get all of them. But Gulliver only did what I told him. It's for the judge to decide that. But given the nature of judges, I doubt that he will be lenient towards a pygmy who kills an Englishman. 